The LAPD is looking for a suspect after a man was shot and wounded in Woodland Hills. Valley View reporter Lita Alikani has the story. Police are searching for two suspects believed to be responsible for shooting a man multiple times. The shooting took place in a Ralph's parking lot directly across the street from Taft High School on the corner of Ventura Boulevard and Winneka Avenue in Woodland Hills. Police say an altercation ensued in the back parking lot and one individual pulled out a handgun and shot the other one multiple times in the torso. A semi-automatic handgun was found just a few feet away from the victim's vehicle, a silver Hyundai. It occurred at about 3.15 this afternoon, just as school was letting out. Commander Andrew Smith says there was no lockdown. As far as we know, there was no involvement with any of the students here. Uh, no students were in danger or were injured by this. It is unclear what the motive was. Why would someone park that far away from the entrance of a Ralph's in a, in a big parking lot um, if they were grocery shoppers? And so it would appear that these two weren't two uh, shoppers that got in a dispute over a parking space, more like they uh, knew each other or had some other type of business they were. But it's a sad commentary in a nice community, Woodland Hills, they're not used to this type of situation. So it'll have rippling effects throughout the community. Everyone will want to know what happened, how did it happen, what were the circumstances. I felt very badly about the fact it did happen, but I'm just very happy to hear it wasn't any of the kids from Taft High School. Police say both suspects in their mid-20s jumped into a silver Infiniti G35 last seen driving eastbound down Ventura Boulevard. The victim was brought to the emergency room here at the Northridge Medical Center. The police could not release his name, but they say he's male black in his early 20s. He's in stable condition, but there's no word on when he'll be released from the hospital. In the San Fernando Valley, I'm Lita Ali Khani for Valley View News.